I usually raise my right hand because this is the smackdown hand. Okay, so if a woman spits my way or she gets close to my proximity, bap! Okay, okay, so this hand is like the eight ball man. He should get an award. He should get his own fucking holiday. Okay, he should get a fucking award. So that that shows that, you know, so women have to respect. This should be a men and women's day. Okay, so, they, you know, both of them are different, you know, obviously. So people respect their boundaries and shit. Or a boundary day. Okay, we should just make that. Everybody should have a boundary day. If you want to be a cat, okay, in the corner over here, okay, you could be a cat in your corner, okay, all right? Okay, because lots of people don't want to be a cat, okay? There's people like that out there. Meow, I'm a cat, meow, meow, meow. I say, okay, if you're a cat, I'm going to give you a bowl, okay? And, okay, <laughs> I'm going to give you a bowl and jack off with it. And I want to see if you want to drink it, okay? Okay, but... <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's get on with the subject today. I just made a video about reincarnation and racism. Okay, so nobody does what I do, okay? But there will be people who copy, okay? Um, you know, I'm just going to keep a mental note. Keep a mental note of that. But nobody can be like me, so there you go. They might want to pay me, okay? But anyway, let's keep going. Let's go on here. Um, today's topic will be about um, how to tell if a female sucks dick. Yo, yo, only here, only here, but somebody's gonna copy, who think they was a fetish gigoloer, they wasn't, so read my the fucking description box, don't look at my looks, if a female has sucked dick, there is a psychology and a movement that they must make in order to know if they suck dick, this is from my experiences now here. You can ask them certain questions. The one question I particularly ask for females, as I hung with four to five women at a time, and they like my strap on and they pay me, mainly white women in particular, okay, because that's what I usually hang around. Most of the women who paid me were white, okay, and average looking at best, okay. There are those days in my heydays and my fetish gigolo, and black women don't have money, be broke. They ain't got no time for that. They get black cock in the fucking hood. They ain't got no time for no plastic, okay. <laughs> black women don't go to gynecologists it's either they're all like that they just don't okay. so you ask the question okay. I said, do you have a tongue ring okay. you know I, that's an easy fucking question have you ever had a fucking tongue ring if a bitch has had a tongue ring she's most likely 80% to suck some dick alright that's one thing that I learned okay Another thing, too, tattoos. Okay? Now, I, <laughs> females don't know how to suck dick. Most women don't know how to suck dick. Now, if you're a guy, okay, and you said you sucked, got your dick sucked over 100 times, we got to talk because I need to hear the different types of fellatio effects that you've encountered because I'm like, there's only one female who ever sucked my dick to the point to where I didn't want no pussy no more. And... I said, um, though I don't fuck pussy, okay, use vagina. She had to use vagina. She, I, I don't mind getting the dick sucked, okay, because it's a suction thing. And you can also, hey, let me tell you something. You can get contraction diseases through, okay, duck dick sucking, as I learned later on. One female, all she did is wanted to duck sick, uh, suck dick, okay. And then I met one female who just sucked it so perfectly, so well. I asked her. I simply asked. I said, how did you suck the dick so well? And then she said, sucking on a lollipops. The blow pops. Do you know what the blow pops are, man? One, two, three. Crunch. I was like, the suction that she gave, the circumference of the Felicia was different than pussy and anything I've ever felt. And I wanted to fall in love with her, but I couldn't because my, my alpha trait was like, I just want to get paid and... And hang with the girl, because, you know, I don't do the kissing. I'll, I'll, I'll stay on the outside of the body, but I don't go down in the mucous membranes. I don't, okay. Now, if you had some guys kissing on you in the past, that can be washed up, but I'm not that OCD, okay. I use my lips to certain other things, you know, right? But the money has to come to me. This has to be some sort of, I'm not going to hang with you, okay. Remember that, yeah, woman. So 
Don't look for me thinking that I'm going to be jumping for joy for $2 million for nothing, okay? <laughs> so, asking a question, looking at her movements. So, give her a lollipop. Give the bitch a lollipop. God damn, watch her eat her food. And like, look at, you got to look. She eats, she get the lollipop and she, she, the first thing that comes out is her tongue. You got to try that. You got to try that. You got to try that. She licks it. And, you know, and you don't hear a sound. So it's actually something is working in the mouth. I don't know. Okay. So look, ask, seek, like seek a lollipop. Give her a plate of food, which has those eyeball onions, something circular or something. Do she pop it in her mouth a certain way? You have to comprehend that shit, you guys. I'm telling you, you, you don't know what you're missing. Because the more attractive you are, the more stupid you are. Oh, but obviously, duh, okay. But I'm right in the middle and shit, right? So I'm like, you guys, I talk to guys who are highly attractive all of the time, and they be telling me some crazy, they tell me some crazy shit, but I tell them even more crazier shit, and they, they want to hang around me like a bitch and shit. I ain't got no time. I'm not hanging with you, nigga. I'm scared to hang around. I'm not scared, but I'm scared, nigga. Okay? Which one is it? I'm scared that way you may get yourself killed. I don't want nothing. I'm, I'm protective, Scott, but scared. That means I don't want you getting hurt because you be trying to tell other motherfuckers about me, and then people want to flock around me, and then they all die. Okay, just like women. I killed 13 women. I don't know where they went. So I'm thinking that they're dead. So I call the number, and they're not available no more. Because they tried to screw me over. My wife is going on that path. But I want her to live. I really want my wife to live. It's no, no matter what kind of evil thing she had done, as long as it ain't stabbing me or trying to fuck up my nuts. It's, you know, you never get your dick chopped off if it's big enough. You never get your dick chopped off if it's big enough, babies. By white women. <sighs> so, what did you learn? So if you want to know, know, know how a female is good in bed, just by sucking dick, watch her carefully. Ask her if she like, like lollipops. Ask her that question. Watch her. Watch her carefully. Virgins don't know how to suck dick. Now, I'm not going to disagree that there's women out there who have no experience but automatically know how to suck dick. I saw some females with some tongue twisters and shit. You know, the tongue type of females with the little devil tongues and shit. And I'm thinking, I want one of those. I saw a female with a devil tongue. And I'm thinking, that is this photoshopped? No! No! I don't think so. I saw one in real life. So, please, guys, start experimenting with females. You might not even need to have sex anymore if she does it once or twice. She was doing it to the point I, I she was preventing me to to nut up in her mouth. She it was the suction was so good that I felt the tingle through my balls into her soul, but it didn't come out. I was like, "What the hell is this? This this was lasting for fucking fifteen minutes," and I thought I would only last for like two minutes. That's how it fucking felt, okay. So, the moral what I'm saying is that there are females who are expert Felicio givers, okay? Felicio givers, motherfuckers. And then there's those regular ones that did this suck dick, okay? <laughs> right? And y'all gonna have to find them and keep them if you can. Give them some gifts. You might have to do a little simping, but it's really not simping if you ain't fucking the, the, the coochie, you ain't fucking the... The, the pussy, right? You ain't fucking the cunts, right? You, so, you, you know, you're not simping. Okay, so just stay away from the pussy, you guys. Stay away from the pussy. And if her mouth is used, me, I'm like this. I don't even want a female to even suck my dick if she is not a virgin, okay? But she wants to suck my dick because she wants to pay. That's completely different, okay? <laughs> there are some exceptions. <laughs> But she has a used mouth, somebody said. She has a used mouth. I said, hey, but this, she's sucking into her body. I don't think she has any herpes inside of her mouth, so I check it. Okay, you want to, <laughs> I'm the type of guy who like to check things before I do stuff. Okay? <laughs> I said, your mouth looks okay, okay? <laughs> and you better, I don't think you'll bite me, okay? 
Because it's hard to bite. It's too hard to bite. Okay. <laughs> but listen to what I've said here. If you're getting paid, you're on the you're not get you're getting paid not to get laid, okay? You're not a prostitute. People don't know what a gigolo is. But unless you're fucking used vaginas, okay, that's you're being a prostitute. Okay. I'm I'd rather be a prostitute well, being the, using a strap on, okay. Okay, people can still call me a fucking prostitute for using a strap on dildo, okay? I'm getting my dick sucked, okay? It's, it's kind of weird. It's kind of fucked up. But too many guys be making accidents, having babies and shit, and they're and busting their nuts in their fucking their fucking condoms and shit, throwing in the trash, thinking that she she won't rob your fucking nuts out of the trash and shit. Understand this. What is it called when a female takes your condom out of the trash anyway? Seed snatchers. Okay, whatever they call it. I keep forgetting that name. My boy told me about this, and okay, everybody talked about this shit, and I forget, because I'm getting older, but I'm not see now, okay, I'm not see now, okay, maybe I'm getting see now, I don't know, but I don't think so, okay, I still remember a lot of shit when I take my ginseng, take your ginseng, ginseng, there's a lot of CQ20, okay, all right, that shit is expensive, though, all right, that's like $23 <laughs> for 100 capsules, <laughs> Let me get on out here, guys. I already told you, give her a lollipop. Uh, check them out, okay? And um, no herpes, okay? Gonorrhea and shit and chlamydia, I don't think it stays in the mouth. It's just herpes. Uh, let me see, what else? And uh, I never caught a disease in my life. I never caught an STD, okay? So that's a good thing for me. Well, other than that, that's all I wanted to say, you guys, brothers and sisters. I hope you enjoyed this fucking video. All right, and uh, I love you all, but I hate the many of you. I love the animals more than human beings, but I don't fuck the animals. <laughs> Peace.